see how slow? That's no good. Do you know why it's slow? Because this is a 24 volt trolling motor hooked up to one battery. So you're only getting half of the potential this bad boy can kick out. And that's what today's video is gonna be about. If that guy would stop building on his deck or sawing wood, I don't know what he's, what he's got a lumber yard over there now. Like, you can run a 24 volt trolling motor, a Minn Kota Maxim. You can run a 24 volt Minn Kota Maxim on a 12 volt battery. Are you gonna go fast? No, you're not. You're gonna go slow. But if you only have one battery, you gotta make things work, right? Well, I have another battery and I'm gonna show you how to hook it up 24 volt in series. I think it's what it's called, but it's gonna work. So as you just noticed, like when I hit the button, I've got this trolling motor all the way up to a hundred. And that's as like the prop turns like, and it's, you know, when you crank it down to like 30%, that's about the speed you get when it's hooked up 12 volt. When you hook it up 24 volt, it's gonna throw you out of the boat. You have to be careful. I've been running one 12 volt interstate battery for I don't know how long with trolling motor, two Garmin units, live scope, radio, bilge pump, live well, and lights. And I've never had any problems. I've never had any error messages on my, on my uh, Garmin from the live scope not getting enough voltage. And I left it at that. But when my 12 volt trolling motor took a poopy, I had to buy another one. So I did. And now I'm gonna upgrade right now my battery to a 24 volt system and I'm going to show you how to hook it up in series is what they call it. It's science. So let's check this out. Hooking up your trolling motor in 24 volt is, is pretty simple. Like I said, you just need a battery and make sure you get this jumper cable. They're like, I don't know, seven bucks, whatever. And I'd advise taking rings off when you work with this stuff, just in case. Not saying it's gonna shock me, but you never know. So I went ahead and hooked up the, the jumper wire to my negative side on my newer battery. The negative on the newer battery is gonna go to the positive on my older battery. Like I have, you can see, I, have, I had everything running off of that one battery. So it's, and it, everything worked fine, but the trolling motor. But when I had my uh, 12 volt trolling motor, it was, it was Gucci. So I'm gonna go ahead and take the positive wire from my trolling motor off the older battery and set it to the side. Negative post on the new battery to the positive on the old battery. So let's figure out how I can run this wire so it ain't all, pop it in right there. Put my nut back on, tighten it down. Okay, let's just say battery A, battery B, so there's no confusion. So battery B, which is the new battery, negative on battery B to positive on battery A. All right, that's the first part running in series. So my trolling motor, my positive trolling motor wire, I'm gonna go ahead and put this on the positive side of battery B. Put the nut on there. You don't have to put anything else on this terminal right here. Tighten it down a little bit, my handy dandy, uh, Pliers, not too tight. You're asking, well, what about the negative coming off the trolling motor? Well, it stays on battery A, okay? So the negative trolling motor, battery A, the positive trolling motor, battery B. Your jump cable, battery B, negative to battery A, positive. Now you're running in series and you have 24 volt and the trolling motor should be at full power right now. The way this works, 24 volt trolling motor setup, that is really hot. So the way this works on a so the way this works on a 24 volt trolling motor setup, the capacity stays the same. So your units is only going to get 12. Like everything's going to get 12 volts except the trolling motor. It's cuz we're running them in series. So we're still using 
the juice from both batteries, but only 24 volts is going to the trolling motor. I think I'm not a scientist, but I'm sure there'll be some comments below saying, nope, you did it wrong. There's like two or three different ways you can rig up a 24 volt trolling motor. It's like series, parallel, and something else. Like, I don't, I've found series, I like series, whatever. Let's see if the trolling, let's just, 24 volt going straight to the trolling motor. That will kick your ass off this drum boat too if you're not careful. So I'm gonna kick it down to like 20. All right, let's go 50. That's about, that's how it was before. When I was running 12 volt, it only makes sense that half the power was going to the trolling motor. So right now I've got it on 50 as you can see. That's the last setting I just showed you. You crank it up to 100 it's double the power because you're getting double the, the voltage that's what it says so hope it helps out everybody that's uh got a you know 12 volt trolling motor and they're wanting to upgrade to a 24 volt i think so i mean the 12 volt was cool and all but the 24 volt is a lot faster i mean like i'm seriously getting probably three mile per hour on this with the uh, just 24 volt trolling motor. but like i said be careful and you have your trolling motor you know turned and you don't know it and you hit it and it it's it'll go like it'll you have to sometimes you got to reinforce your um your platform too because it'll rip the it'll strip the bolts out it's so powerful and that's no lie sometimes smoke comes off of it and i think it's just from being badass not from being defaulty so 24 volt trolling motor setup wiring all that's good stuff uh, thanks for watching my videos if you haven't subscribed yet please do catch me on facebook instagram TikTok. So yeah until next time we'll catch you on the tools needed for this job pliers that's it it's that simple pliers no electric tape duct tape soldering iron oh look right here that's a uh, that's a jumper cable and this is a cheap one i got at walmart and it was like seven bucks you know and it works i got an extra one just in case because i thought i needed two but i only needed one thanks for watching